the way Belete sweet me for this information when I want pass to Una so eh? Oh God. If Una self hear the information, Bele go sweet on her too. It go be like say sugar factory they inside Una Bele. This information so eh? Now top secret. One of our sources then gather this information come for us. Now, Tinubu nomination has seat 14 days for the vice presidential nominee, which don't they against Nigerian constitution. Now, the judges for the presidential election petition tribunal don't come at court talk say in the face of threats and any other thing that will save Nigeria make nigeria at least get in name back again my country people without wasting our time i want me to watch this video to the end if you don't listen to this video to the end finish eh? but let go sweet on now the way i did tell you now with the see also then i will see you after the video make we discuss this matter for the comment session you see also oh this is the best information I don't get for a long time now. Without wasting on our time too much, make we go inside the video. You see also, let's go there. The fate of Nigeria is in the hands of the Presidential Election Tribunal. It will decide either to uphold the Constitution or save one maniac's political ambition. The fact is that Bola Tinubu is not qualified to contest election as president. His nomination violates the constitution and should be nullified. By the constitution, a candidate that nominates his vice president can only replace the vice president within 14 days. Any replacement of a vice president nominee after 14 days makes the entire nomination invalid. Tinubu first nominated Alaji Masari as vice president masari withdrew from the nomination on june 24th 2022 tinubu did not replace him until july 2022 this is 21 days seven days more than the mandatory 14 days for replacement this violates section 33 of the electoral act which requires that any replacement of a vice president nomination must be within 14 days. The APM has proved this fact in the tribunal against Tinubu. In the past, the courts have nullified similar nominations. The law is the same. Section 142 of the Constitution requires the tribunal to nullify Tinubu's candidacy. The tribunal should uphold the Constitution by disqualifying Tinubu as it has done before. This is not politics it is the constitution to become president contrary to the law is to carry out a coup against the constitution to allow tinubu to remain in office or to participate in a rerun election is to violate section one of the constitution we don't want to be like niger and mali where disrespect for constitution has led to coups and civil wars judges should save nigeria no one is above the law even under military dictatorship jurists like eshaw and Uwais upheld the rule of law despite threats to life they believe in the rule of law not the rule of force or privilege all eyes are on the judiciary we know that tinubu's nomination violated the constitution he must be disqualified and removed from office. The tribunal must defend the constitution like the Kenyan Supreme Court that in the face of threat nullified the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta. As Justice Oguntade advised, justice must be done even if the heavens fall. When justice has been done, the heavens stay in place. The tribunal should do justice and the heavens will not fall. The presidential election petition tribunal will decide whether it will allow a person with forged certificates and criminal conviction to be the president against the constitution 
If the tribunal fails to disqualify Ahmed Tinubu, despite clear evidence of forgeries and criminal conviction, and disregards the constitution, it destroys public integrity in Nigeria. The evidence before the tribunal is clear that a U.S. court convicted Bola Tinubu of drug offense and ordered him to forfeit a huge sum as fine. He also presented a fake certificate to INEC. The Constitution disqualifies from public office anyone convicted of a crime or who presents a fake certificate because these crimes undermine public integrity. Since 1999, a speaker, a Senate president, and a minister of finance have been removed from office because they presented fake certificates. None of these had criminal convictions, but presenting fake certificates was enough to remove them from office. Today, our country is overrun by criminality and forgery. The tribunal cannot continue to encourage crime. We cannot be a republic of fraud. Otherwise, we lose credit and reputation and become a criminal state where even judges themselves will be victims. The tribunal must disqualify Tinubu for certificate forgery and criminal conviction. It must heed the advice of the Supreme Court in Saleh v. Abba that the courts must actively fight certificate forgery and should never allow anyone who presented a fixed certificate to contest election in any public office. Of course, the Labour Party couldn't have been silent on that because the Labour Party is the only party that won 25% and above in Abuja. So there's no way we could have been silent on that. The only party that won 25% and above. Others came distant, distant second and distant third. Yes. On the issue of the run. I do not I do not want to to predict the court because we presented a lot of issues. I thought that some of some of you should be very much worried that the election conducted by INEC we presented 18,088 blood results from the IRA. Then INEC now gave us CTC of results. From there, we harvested 8,123 blood results. Some, are, some we are completely blank. Some others were pictures of human beings, some others buildings, some others you have results that are not pulling units, like world results, local government collection results, and so on and so forth. That is something that should worry every they Nigerian. Relied on it. They relied to on it. Somebody they, they relied on it to declare somebody the winner mm -hmm. of an election. Yeah. How can? How can? An institution public institution like INEC certified blank documents and said that it certified pulling unit results, certified photographs and said it certified pulling unit results. I mean, uh, uh, I mean they, should, they should stop taking Nigerians and Nigeria for granted. It's very unfortunate that this type of thing should be happening in the 21st century. Other countries have moved on. We are still running round and round and round and round. Round and round, trying to organize election. Yet, we are, we are behaving as if we are still in the, in the, in the, in the pre, pre, primitive uh, age. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Huh? That is a constitutional issue. No, that is a constitutional issue. That is a constitutional issue. So, so we addressed it sufficiently. So it's for the court.
Yeah, there are so many grounds we, pre we, 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 we presented. So it's for the courts to decide. So, but what, what is important is that we sufficiently, sufficiently presented our case in a most convincing way.